Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. More specifically about Fred the dog who appeared once in season 6 and throughout many episodes in season 6. And we'll talk about another instance where there is a dog in the Ricardo's apartment and actually belonged to the Mertzes. Before I get to that, don't forget that we are super close. We are extremely close to 100,000 subscribers. But in order for you to win free DVDs and really cool merchandise, don't forget to look at the link in the description below. Be a subscriber, like the video, it does help out the channel. And let's get right to it. Now today, I'm really excited about this topic because many people have asked me in comments and so forth, so I wanted to address the issue. But before we talk about Fred the dog, we do have to go back to season one of I Love Lucy in the episode it's called the diet now in this one lucy is trying to lose some weight it's one of the first episodes of i love lucy and of course lucy decides that she needs to lose some weight she believes she is overweight and so ethel puts her on this diet program she has her do strict exercise routines as well as strict food rationing. Now what they do, the Ricardos and the Marintas get together for a dinner, a meal, and Fred decides to bring his dog. Yes, we learn in this episode that Fred has a dog. It's a beautiful little dog. He kind of stays next to Fred. He stays under the table. And then he has a little funny, silly routine where he fights over some meat with Lucy while she's under the table. She's acting like a dog. No one knows she's down there. It's a really funny scene. Now the dog's name is Butch and because the Ricardos and Mertzes are in the same apartment, we have to gather that well dogs are allowed in the apartment. Now you may say, well of course Rick, that makes sense. Well that makes a big difference when we move to season 6. Now we never learn what happens to Butch, he never appears again. Of course, why? He was a plot device for this particular episode. But I usually talk about things in terms of the story. Many things could have happened. Butch could have ran away. He could have also passed away. And that could have made Fred and even Ethel very, very sad and made a new rule that said no pets allowed in the apartment building. Now, if we fast forward to season six, this is the one where Ricky wants to get a little dog. He brings home a little doggy, as he says, and he brings it in really cute dog and of course Lucy and even Ricky eventually fall in love with the dog. Even Fred falls in love with the dog just a little bit when he finds out that little Ricky names his pets after people that he likes. Who does he name the dog after? Of course Fred Mertz. So we have a little tiny little shaggy dog with the name of Fred Mertz and it's absolutely hilarious. Now people have asked me, Rick, where did the dog go? Now the dog didn't really go anywhere. He actually appears in several episodes of I Love Lucy here and there when they're moving to the country. He appears in one of Ricky's boxes. He even appears in the last episode. That's episode 179 of I Love Lucy. It's called The Ricardos Dedicate a Statue. Well, essentially, Ricky is dedicating an old Revolutionary War statue and they make a whole episode out of it. It's really funny where Lucy at the end, she has to paint herself like a statue and act like one. It's a really good one if you haven't seen it. As I mentioned, it's the last half an hour episode of I Love Lucy. We do see that Fred, the dog, actually goes to obedience school. And this is in that last episode with the statue. Lucy says that he supposedly graduated when in fact he's horrible. He doesn't know any of the tricks. Again, it's a really funny episode. Lucy imitates the dog and she does the tricks a lot better than Fred the dog could ever do them. Again, it's one that you should really check out. Now, in fact, the episode ends with Lucy being the statue. She actually breaks the real statue and replaces it with her own body, with her own self, pretending to be a statue and Fred the dog gets lost but by the end of the episode Fred and Ethel we see them all together in their revolutionary war attire and they find Fred the dog so in essence the answer to everyone's question that everyone was asking what happened to Fred the dog well he was right there with the whole family with everyone the Ricardos and the Mertzes at the end of the episode that was the series finale 
But then Desi and Lucy decided, let's continue I Love Lucy, but let's make hour-long episodes. So after this, there was 13 of them. Again, I won't talk about every single one. Maybe I'll make a separate video on that. Like this video and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that. Go through every single one of the 13 episodes, the hour-long episodes, that is. And then uh, that's about it. We could say that the actors are the same. Essentially, a story continues into the hour-long episodes, but there's no real continuity in terms of the story. There are some errors here and there with the half an hour episodes versus the hour episodes. So you, some people say, well, Fred the dog disappeared. Well, there's also a conflicting story on how the Ricardos met in the half an hour episodes to the actual hour episodes. I'm kind of going on a segue, but I'm trying to explain that pretty much the storyline of the dog was resolved, Fred the dog. We do see him, he's there, he's nice and healthy, and it ends up. But then when the Lucy Desi comedy hour started, it's the same as the I Love Lucy hour long episodes, we see that kind of different things happen. There's no much attention to the dog, and that's it. The problem is that a lot of people watch I Love Lucy in terms of syndication. The episodes are out of order and some people think, well, what happened to the dog? Then we don't see the dog. Well, no, we see the dog throughout when the dog was introduced all the way to when they move into the country. And so the dog stays with them. Hopefully that answered the question, guys and gals. Now, in regards to Little Ricky's dog, who was named Fred on the show, he was actually a Cairn Terrier. His name was Danny. Now, Danny was owned by Frank Inn and the trainer was Bob Blair. Now, you may be surprised to know if you've ever watched the show Dennis the Menace, Mr. Wilson's dog was the same dog. So this is actually Fremont, which is really cool. His real name, Danny, in real life. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for the support, the love. I absolutely love making I Love Lucy episodes, tying these loose ends together of things that people may have, people that love the show and just want to know these things about our favorite couples, the Ricardo and the Mertzes. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my Diamond Tier patrons, Citizen Kane 359, Paul T, Ricky, Gary N, David D, Sally N, Yasmin G, and Lori K. If you want to be part of the Patreon family, don't forget to take a look at the description with many exclusives that you can enjoy.